Mr. Stockton, how are you? Oh, yes! Are you proud of him? You must I'm be... extremely proud, yes. He was a bit of a stir, didn't he, in Hollyoaks? He did, yes. He was, um, he was a sweet boy in Hollyoaks. And he's a nice boy in real life. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, there you are. There's, no, that's a, a moment yeah. of truth for you. Yeah. So, have you managed to shake off the John Paul tag yet? Oh, I've only just started on Emmerdale, so I don't know. You, you'll, you'll have to see. I hope so. Yeah. And can you tell us about why you decided to join Emmerdale? Um, yeah, I mean, I've always kind of um, respected it and kind of... I mean, Mum used to watch it when I was a kid. It's always been on in our house, so, you know, it's, uh, I've always admired it. And it's just, it's a great show, man. There's some amazing actors. I mean, I'm working with, like, Maxwell Caulfield uh, and Maladonna. I mean, that's like... That's a big deal, man. I mean, you said that you'd never do a soap again. Is that something you regret saying at the time? Because obviously... No, not really. I mean, you, you know, you just say how you feel at the time. And at the time, I didn't really want to do another soap. Um, but they, you know, they approached me for Emmerdale. And it seemed like a, an exciting character, a good part. And, you know, so, yeah, you know. And I, and I love my job, so, you know, why not? And you've been filming for a couple of weeks now. What's it been like? It's been lovely. Like, they're, yeah, they're really, really nice people. They're, they've really looked after me and... Um, made me feel really welcome it's been lovely how's it compared to Hollyoaks um, they're a lot older um, <laughs> there are some young ones god that's horrible there are some young people sorry mum well. no there are some young no there are it's, it's just it's a lot more um, I don't know it's a grown up but you know it's, it's, a, it's a totally different ball game it's cool you like him being in the Yorkshire Dale oh it's beautiful up there it's really nice cold really cold and Ryan is a bit of a mysterious character apparently what can you tell us about him He's a mechanic. Anything else? <laughs> cool. uh, he's a mechanic, and uh, he's, there's some interesting stuff going on with his with his mum and uh, his dad, who he, he thinks is dead, but may not, or may or may not be dead. I don't know how much you know already. Um, <laughs> and he might have a romance with a couple of the lovely ladies in the village. Anything like John Paul? Uh, no, not really. He's a lot more. Um, he's a lot more grounded. He's a lot more kind of grown up. Um, heterosexual. And he's heterosexual, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which means my mother can actually watch me on TV without kind of hiding behind a cushion. <laughs> Is that what you were doing for most of the time? Yes. <laughs> no, no. She's very proud no, of I liked him. his character in Hollyoaks, actually. I thought he played it extremely well, very oh. sensitively. And one final question. Uh, the lo uh, lovely Mr. Kirkwood is heading up at uh, Hollyoaks later. Any chance of a reprieve? From, uh, no, that's a, no, that's a naughty show he's making there, isn't it? No. It's just up his street, that. Right, yeah, right. It's bait, Holly Porn, I think. Uh, I think they're going to recall it. No, it's uh, not for me, though. No. And when will we first see you on screen in Emmerdale? 15th of June, I think. Book it in the diary. <laughs>